What I've got here is our AUK solid brass inlay kit. We have a guide bush with a thread on it, and this will sit into a plate in the bottom of your router. We have a diameter of this outer brass ring here, which is, I'll say, eight millimeters. And we have a diameter of the outer ring of this collar, which fits over that of 14 millimeters. The difference in the thickness of this wall here and this wall here it's effectively three millimetres here and three millimetres there, because that matches up to the three millimetre or eighth of an inch router bit that comes with the kit. The idea is we can use this guide bush around a template, either with or with the collar removed to make a matched pattern. We also have a centering pin that comes in the pack because we need to put this into our collet and then use this to center the guide bush up so it's exactly in the right position within our router. To use the brass inlay kit in your router, you'll need some kind of base so it fits within your router. Lee Jigs of Canada make loads of standard plates that fit a whole range of routers, but you need to check out which is the right size for yours. For these, basically we would need to screw this into the bottom of the router, and then the guide bush sits in here, flip him over and you can screw that component on. Or another style is a plate like this, which has been preformed with a hole in there, and then we can bolt the brass guide bush up into that one. For the Festool here, I just need to take out the standard screws and plate that came with the router to replace it with this Lee plate that goes in. What we need to do is make sure that we get this guide pin centered up in the right position into the base of the router. To do that, use the centering pin. The centering pin, the one end of it is a quarter inch where it'll fit into your standard collet. Tighten that one down, and then we can plunge this out and get this so it centers up before we screw it into the right position. So we've got our brass inlay kit centered up on the base of our router to match up with the spiral cutter. What we need to do now is decide what shape. It could be a template you bought or any shape that you've produced yourself. And we're gonna route a hole in our, let's say it's our tabletop, and then we're gonna cut a piece of inlay out of a different material to drop into that shape. So decide whichever template you're gonna use. Make sure for the first section, you are using the outer collar on here and what we're going to do, we're going to plunge in once we get our depth set right, and we're going to route out all of the center hole that's going to be into our perhaps tabletop or box that we're making. So we would get the template so he's cramped down. We would push the cutter down, set up the depth of cut that we want to do, and fix, tighten that up. And then what we would do is use the router, probably starting from the middle, work your way all the way around to remove all of that center timber. You may want to turn your router off, make sure any dust gets sucked out, and then go around the template again. So we get a complete circle right around the edge of the template. To make the disc or the inlay that we're going to set into the tabletop, we want to remove the template, bring your other timber into play, you can put your template back on. You can cramp that one down. What you must do now is remove the outer collar. And when we now basically form the disc that we're gonna glue into the other part, we must make sure that this outer ring of the brass is always in contact with the outer edge of the template. If you come away from the outer edge, it's gonna make your disc, or whatever your shape is, too small or not match up the other component that you formed. If you want to buy any of our AUK tools, check us out on woodworkersworkshop.co.uk and look at us on our social media channels.